Hi, I'm Kaylee. And I'm Mindy, and welcome to episode two of I'm, I'm sweating. sweating. Oh snap, we were in time. I'm not sweating right now, <laughs> but I usually am. So on the basis of how the last episode went, we have a new format. What's our, what's our new format? That we're only going to have a beginning topic. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then we will go from there, because we definitely had more set topics last time and did not talk about any of them but one. Zodiac? Yes. What, what were the other topics? I don't remember, but I know we had more than one. Okay. Well, I think we just have one. Okay. What was I going to say? Um, oh, I think I have ADD, but that's not the topic for today. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Wait, wait, why can we start it like that? Because we just said we have a starting topic. But I'm trying to explain to them the, okay. why we only have a starting topic background. is because I think I have ADD and I can't say the one topic. <laughs> Um, how many views do we have on our podcast? We have like 30. That's better than zero. <laughs> and and some positive money. feedback. They were yours. You left a comment on the video, <laughs> Kaylee. I didn't leave a view. I left a comment. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my resistance band. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh, I bought some exercise bands. <laughs> our starting topic today. I forgot. <laughs> our starting topic today is celebrity crushes. Do you want to start with childhood celebrity crushes or our current we celebrity start crushes? With childhood because okay, who was your first celebrity crush? Um, well, that's a doodle pop. No, we're trying to be serious. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry on behalf of my people. Okay. Um, probably the earliest I can think of was Cole Sprouse, but I feel like I have him before that. I don't know though. Cole Sprouse was also my favorite of the Sprouse twins. Yes, I want. I thought we were gonna be together. <laughs> As a child, I don't know that I had a lot of crushes on characters. I had a lot of in person. Yeah, crushes. me too. I did have a lot of. In-person I can name crushes. their names. <laughs> no, we're supposed to censor them. She's counting them with their hands. There's twenty. Yeah. Well, you know I was a hustler in the <laughs> second grade. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you had a dance bell, whatever. Which is a memory that, yeah, I should explain that real quick. We'll, we'll take a detour before we get back to the other crushes. Don't go to sleep. No, I'm listening. So, this is a memory that I have that the people involved might not even have because, one, they're boys and they don't remember anything. And I was a little girl, so of course I remember. But in the second grade, there was three guys that liked me. I don't know what happened because there's currently zero guys who like me right now. I like Mindy, but I'm not a Um, guy. but one had moved away. R.I.P. Um, He's not dead. <laughs> he could be. <laughs> yeah, so there was two left. And, um, we were at a, well, a school dance, as much as you could say it was a school dance, it was like arts and craft, we were in the second grade. But anyways, they literally had a dance battle over me, like they formed a dance circle, and the winner then got to slow dance with me. And there's a photo of it. So it might not exist anymore because I didn't take the It was his sister took the photo. <laughs> We're not supposed to name any names. I don't know if it was his name though. How is it? <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm going to bring that in from the other video. The same beep. <laughs> so yes, celebrity crushes as a child. Cole Sprouse. I'm sure there was. What did I watch as a child? I don't like to think of this Cole Sprouse because I loved him so much. <laughs> Mm. I watched a lot of Disney Channel. I'm mad at Disney, Disney. No, copyright. That's copyrighted? Probably, but you probably, that's not too bad you can sing that much. <laughs> Don't sing anymore. Okay, maybe we should just skip forward. Do you remember your teen years crushes? Um, well, no, I feel like, what other, sh- let's think of sh- shows. Okay, we'll think of shows. I have a crush on Alex Russo, but I wanted to be Alex Russo. Who like, did, I had her wand. I put sticks in my boots. <laughs> no, I had her wand in my boot. You stole her her agony. Her, 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 yes, I went to the set, the set and stole it. No, that and was her one. boot. <laughs> I did get that for a gift. I got her wand. Zuko from Avatar mm. Last Airbender is hot. He is. I, I still have a crush on him. Very pretty. Mindy hates cartoons because she's a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mindy the boomer. Oh, wow. Look how shattered that is. That's not from you. I don't Could think. it be me? I don't think that part's from you, but it's definitely gotten worse. Ooh, I'm going to cut myself. I feel like you should get that fixed. Are you going to pay for it? No. Ah! <laughs> she just flashed herself, not by who, but by... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Shout out crushes. we got to be actually think here. I was like, I think it was Cole Sprouse. 
Same from Nickelodeon? I mean, it wasn't all cartoons. We grew up in just the generation. If we were a little bit younger, Owen Joyner could have been our childhood crush because he was on Nickelodeon. Yeah, but then it would be awkward because... Not awkward, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be possible. I mean, it's still not possible, but he's our age, so it's less weird. <laughs> I don't know what Disney. I can't even think of any Disney shows that I watched. What's the thing is Cole Sprouse? Because there's Waverly Place, Hannah Montana, um, Pair of Kings. <laughs> Pair of Kings. <laughs> um, let's just look up Disney shows. You know I'm, what was hot? Um, the guy from Lemonade Mouth. Which one? Oh, the one who was in Dog with a Blog. Yeah, he was hot in Lemonade <laughs> Mouth. Then he went Dog with a Blog, and then he didn't. He got less hot. I'm like you. <laughs> Of his character. Oh, you must have Victoria Savan Hoiga. He was, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was so pretty. Oh my gosh. Beck, right? That's his name? Beck, yeah. Ugh. I wish he was Aladdin. He is beautiful. Also, Andre did not get enough um, recognition. I love his character. I loved Andre. Yeah, he was amazing. Tori sucks. You're telling me you didn't have a crust on Sinjin? <laughs> I thought Robbie was cute. Kim Possible. I feel like there were more celebrities. Lizzie McGuire. Did you have a crush on Shia LaBeouf? Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> have you seen the in the video? The oh, the Jonas Shia Brothers. Oh, we're stupid. <laughs> wow. Really is a Monday night at college. Let me tell you, I don't want to hurt the Jonas Brothers feelings. Specifically one Jonas Brother. Nick Jonas? <laughs> no. But there was a time in my life which my favorite Jonas brother was Kevin Jonas. But only because... You're making noises. Stop sorry. that. But only my favorite Jonas brother was Kevin Jonas. But only because um there I had three... I, there was three... I had two sisters. There's three of us. And so that we could all like a different Jonas brother. So it was more realistic that we could marry the Jonas brothers. I got saddled with the last pig. <laughs> And I, for a good year or two years, I was like, yeah, Kevin Jonas, <laughs> he's my favorite. I had posted some of him on the wall. I was like, I'm committed to Kevin Jonas. <laughs> okay, Kevin wasn't even ugly, but those sideburns were not there. Yeah. I think that's what turned everybody off. I'm sorry, Kevin, if you're hearing this. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Jonas was my favorite because I love him. But then also Joe Jonas went skinhead on me. <laughs> you think they should have shaved heads is the look. I'm like, your wives are quaking. I'm your sorry. wives. They're all married now. <laughs> yeah, I know. But like, I'm like, why'd you shave your head? You're being <laughs> ugly. <laughs> I so mean, yes. I bleep that out. That's the F word. Uh, <laughs> um, Dave the Barbarian. <clears throat> yes. Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> He's a crush on Ferb. Yeah, Ferb. The, the voice actor who played Ferb had a crush on you know what's hot too? Um, oh my god, the guy who played the Asian guy in the Maze Runner. It's no clue. I know his name. It's literally one of my favorite people from Wong Fu. How about Jesse? No. Oh, Ross Lynch. I had a huge. Well, actually, I didn't have a crush on Ross Lynch. I didn't have a crush on Ross Lynch. I had a crush on Riker Lynch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> dun dun dun. Because I watched Glee. Um, and yeah, unlike all of the other girls. Um, I was addicted to the Warblers. Totally unique. Oh my god. Totally. I love the Warblers. Um, but to the point, Nick and Jeff, I need to stop hitting things to make emphasis. Um, the Warblers, Nick and Jeff, three and six, my best friend at the time, uh, would write three and six on our hands. And again, I think I was the number I did not want to be because I let, again, I let the other person choose which number. That <laughs> we're sensing a pattern here. But yeah, again, we both loved Kurt Mega, but... Uh, we both had a crush on Riker Lynch. <clears throat> so she got to be whatever number Riker Lynch was, and I was the number Kurt Mega was. It's rude. It was quite sad. What's oh, the longest God. time you've had a best friend? How many, like, your longest best friend? Beep, beep. That doesn't count. Why doesn't that count? Because I could say Harley. Yeah, but me and beep, beep. actually friends. <laughs> well, you also <laughs> actually true. go to the same school. That's true. Well, we didn't in high school. Because I never... Well, cousins are built-in best... Built in friends. Yeah. My longest friend who wasn't... Beep, beep. Well, I mean, I've had, like... Beep, beep. I can't say their names. Cause I, I know, know we... Oh. Okay, Mare and Mosey. <laughs> um, they... I've known them since sixth grade we were friends. But, we, I mean, we're, like, best friends in the sense we're, like, lifelong friends now. But I'm way closer Not to Not gonna be a maid of honor. Yeah, they're not gonna be the maid of honor. Oh yeah, I already said the news in the maid of honor. With- um, so. I get a new best friend every time I enter a new school. 
Well, are you going to ditch me after this one? Cause you, you I already it. told you I am. Because if you think elementary school... Well, elementary school, elementary school, I guess it would be... I don't want to make up names for these people. Well, you gotta have to. Mormon girl. Um, <laughs> good old Maline. Molly. Um, and then I got into the second part of elementary school, school and it was Mamar. <laughs> Mamar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kmart. <laughs> so yeah, we have Mormon girl and then Kmart. And then um, in middle school. I already said beep, beep. <laughs> um, three. We'll call her three. <laughs> so we have... Mormon girl. So every co- every college, I mean college, every school you yeah, change, so, you change your best. So pre K through second, Maline, Mormon girl. Third through fifth, Kmart. Sixth through like ninth, there's a transmission, transmit, tra- transition, transition, <laughs> period in the ninth grade where it switched from three to Cairo, which Cairo's gonna be on the show. Mm-hmm. She's still rest. She's still in restaurants. Yeah. Um. We should do a best friend competition, see who knows more about me. Uh, no, I think he's our age. Right. All these people are our age. I know, it's weird, though. Even she's 18. Okay, well, she, Sabrina Carpenter is older than us. I know, Sabrina Carpenter's older. Sabrina the guy Carpenter. Girl meets world. Farkle? Not Farkle. <laughs> Actually, well, Farkle, I love Farkle. His Farkle. Instagram now, Corey Fodramanimanus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Don't worry now. Um, is he popping? He's popping. Yeah. That's literally the word I was going to use. <laughs> I was going to say his Instagram is popping off. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. So. Apple Sprouse is my childhood love, my life, so. So now we're into now, right? Is there anybody in high school that you love? Oh, I have to look up Asian people. Cause mm-hmm. Wesley Asian Chan people. Chan from Wonka Productions. Oh, my God. I oh. am in love with him. Well, I, I was. I don't, I, I'm not... If we're doing that, the thing is, I don't want to say my person because I've actually talked to my person before for doing high school because it's Sam Basher. <laughs> you talked to him? Yes! He used to comment on all my Instagram oh, posts. Oh, yeah. Because I had a fan account. I was like, man, look, you talk, talk, to, like, in person, like, hey! No, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, he also has a girlfriend now. That's not fair. You have, you have to talk to your crush. Where's my penguin? I want to cuddle my penguin. Probably sitting out with your booty. Oh my god, sitting on it. You're oh, probably kidding. sitting on it. I actually think this over there. Um, so yeah. I guess we would say Sam Basha. Um, well, Wesley Chan. Wow, you only like Asian Harry Shum Jr. No, it's because I got <laughs> an, uh, I followed one of the productions to get Asian culture in my life because I felt very disconnected. And oh my gosh. There's a stereotype that Asian guys are hot. That's beep, beep. why. You know another stereotype about Asian guys? Tiny wee wee. <laughs> but that's a lie too. So I want to know. My boyfriend's white. <laughs> so Your boyfriend's a redhead. <laughs> They're their own breed. <laughs> You're mean. Okay, so now we're here. Harry Shum Jr. Oh. is gorgeous. I had multiple. Hold on. Okay. I was going to talk about the list we created in our dorm. <laughs> What? Was that freshman year the list we created that had all of you last year <laughs> that had all of our celebrity crushes at the time and their ages and we would just keep a list just to remind ourselves. Where did I put that list? I don't know. Last year was very discombobulating. On top of that, with the room trade and everything. Oh, well, that's another story. Yes. Okay. Wait. But we're just talking about celebrity. Oh, I mean, we're supposed to be going off on tangents, right? Well, we'll focus on celebrity. We might as well finish the timeline of celebrities. Okay, the timeline. So now we're entering college. We meet each other. And it changes our life. She's ignoring me. No, I'm trying to find the one guy's name. We actually just... Why she's looking for that guy. We can actually talk about how we just discovered our friend anniversary. Right? Should I talk about that real quick? Yeah. So basically, um, I was having a hard time trying to pin down when we became friends and more than just roommate he friends, like friends, friends. I was because I was like, I didn't think we came became friends that early in the year. I knew we did, but Minty just has no faith in us. Um, because Kaylee was very reclusive. Okay, you know what? I would like to defend myself right now. I'm talking. It's my turn. <sighs> She's a bully. Um, so I was hanging out with our other roommates and the other person. I can't think of code names for anybody. Moose. What was it? What Pose. Was, no, oh. not hose yet. Mecca? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Mecca? <laughs> yeah, Mecca. Wow. What was our code name for? I have one for her. No, for C. 
last time. Carpet. Carpet. So I would hang out with Chai, Carpet, and Mecca. <laughs> Um, we're gonna have to write these code names down somewhere because, I'll um, and Katie would just not hang out with us. Like, we'd be Katie. No, Kaylee. Shh, <laughs> <laughs> Katie. Um, so we would go around campus, we'd be hanging out, taking selfies. We were so cute, and then we'd hang out without Kaylee. And then at some point, me and Kaylee somehow flipped a switch, it was very quickly the case that we were like then we were inseparable and mm-hmm. we went everywhere together and I don't know how it happened. She smelled me and said good. pheromones. <laughs> <laughs> um but the other day I had a Facebook memory. He's pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a Facebook memory that said October fourteenth what does it say? No, uh something about college is something we want to stay up to one AM eating cheese it's and long conversations. The, yeah, it was like <laughs> College is staying up to 1 a.m., eating cheeses, and having long conversations with your roommate. So I assume that's the moment. Mm -hmm. So now we will celebrate that every year. We will make sure we are together. 14th of October. (laughs) It was the 14th of October, and she was coming over. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Grow Song. Um, Yes, back to can continue. Okay, well, now let me defend myself. I didn't hang out with them like the first month. Was because me. You're a loser. Sorry, it's your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna punch Mindy. That's I'm abuse. Nine one one. Where's my phone? I put my butt crack. <laughs> Continue with your side story. Um. Okay. Well, me. You beep. You beep. It's only been twenty minutes, by the way. Me and Amber. Mhm. Um. Mamory. Remember Mamory. Mamory. <laughs> me and Mamory went to school. From kindergarten to fourth grade. I actually loved this and then, dude. What? I loved this dude. <laughs> For a very short period of time. I don't want to admit that on the podcast. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Because he was, do you remember those British twins? Wait, do you remember those British Okay, yeah. I'll, we finish your sense of story and then we can... I'm sorry for Kaylee's interruption. I just showed her someone I had a brief. Oh my god. A brief celebrity crush on. That's so funny. Continue with your story of why you didn't hang out with us. Crying. Calm sorry. down. It's not that funny. Now I feel like we should discuss him. But no. no. I'm fine. Okay. okay. I might be crying. But I'm fine. I don't know why that was so funny to me. <laughs> okay, continue. Leave your side of the story. Then we can Wait, discuss that. Wait, what? Oh, England. What? Oh, England. Okay. Finish your side of the story. Okay. Beep, beep. School. Kindergarten. Fourth grade. Then we think about school. And then we went to school. In middle school. Since eighth grade. And then we go to high school together. It was really sad. And then we went to oh, yeah. Oh, Memory. <laughs> Went to, went to college and we're like, oh yay, we have been to school together in a really long time and we're very happy now. Like, what a crazy coincidence. Because I really did not think me and my cousin would go to the same college. Like, that's actually kind of crazy. I'm out of breath from last Where did you think she was going to go or did you think? <clears throat> I thought, I honestly didn't know where she was going to go because I knew she wasn't like the type to go. <laughs> and be like, <laughs> I'm hot. Poof. You gave a describing factor where we live. Well, you're going to have to bleep that out as well. <laughs> Well, no, it, it could, doesn't, you don't even live near any, anywhere. Yeah, I live in Bollywood, remember? <laughs> yeah, I live in Hollywood. Wow. <laughs> Two worlds collide. <laughs> anyway, continue. Um, I thought she applied to Northwestern. No, these aren't, these really aren't geographical factors. <laughs> they can narrow, start to narrow it down. Okay, well, <laughs> then bleep that out too. She, um... She was, I applied to a school that's somewhat prestigious, but not that prestigious, like, like, yeah. So I was surprised she came to Harvard, because it's also a party school, and you know, memory. <laughs> I have to do so much editing on you. <laughs> anyway. You interrupted me with Gustav, okay? <laughs> What's his name? No, Will. <laughs>
this will. It looks really <laughs> So now I see what the issue is. She did think I was sucky. I had a crush on the Gunther from Shake It Up, which is understandable. But no, I'm talking about Will. Is this same name? The last name is Nibbles? No, it's a little bit different. Nibbles has an I, his last name. Um, Who's Nibbles? Oh, never mind. I know who Nibbles is. So no, his name is not the same. So Will Coulter? But anyways, no, I did not like it from any of the movies. I know he did in we, we, We're the Millers. We are the Millers. With Rachel from Friends. <laughs> I just can't imagine you being attracted to the most But anyways, no, do you know, did you watch the British crew of YouTubers in like 2013? No, I did not. <laughs> Um, Wait, no, the one guy, Casper. Yes, he was part of it. He was actually South African. I also got noticed by Sprinkle of Glitter and got like a thousand likes on one of my posts. Not trying to brag <laughs> about how... to Gunther? No! <laughs> okay, anyways. There was these twins in the group for a very short amount of time, Jack and Finn. <clears throat> and their whole stick at the beginning was that there was one of them who made YouTubes and then the other one showed up and they're like, ha ha, we're twins. But he was friends with them, so he was on their videos. Um, so now we're in, we're in, we're in college now. <laughs> we just backtracked a minute. Yeah. Gunther from Jacob. And our... Wait, look up, he looks the same. He yeah, I Gunther. got, as soon as you said Gunther, I knew what you meant. <laughs> so you're still attracted to Gunther, though? No. They look the same, though. <laughs> like... Like and prescribe if you're attracted to Gunther. Shake, shake it, it up. up. Listen, okay, so now we're in college. <laughs> Grab the resistance bands. And <clears throat> my celebrity crushes my boyfriend and only my boyfriend. He's not a celebrity. He's a celebrity queen. Being in the marching band does not make you famous. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell the march, don't tell the drum like that. <laughs> um, no read. Oh, he's a lovely man. Darren Chris is very Yeah, pretty. basically our our thing now is if you have any <laughs> musical talent musical talent We're in love with you. We're in love with you. Yes. Um, so we have no read. Darren Chris. Um who's on that list? Who did I have on Grant that list? Gustin. Oh Grant Gustin. <laughs> Harry Chum Jr. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's also a common theme kind of arising in some of them. They're all complete. <laughs> yes. Um, um except we <clears throat> we do not support the actors from Glee. <laughs> well, okay. Tom so. Holland. Tom Holland. Oh, he doesn't have any musical talent. He can dance. Tom Holland's just beautiful. Have you seen the Tumblr meme where it's yeah. like, like he's looking at a frog? <laughs> Me? <laughs> and he's making the face right now. Um. Gunther from Shake It Up. <laughs> no, he is not on the list. I think you have a thing for Gunther from Shake It Up. Do you know that Tinka works for Trump? <laughs> Yeah, the actor who plays Tinka's on his, like, White House press team. She oh, how they have fallen. Was she, isn't she, like, from Russia? In real life? No. Oh, t- Tinka. <laughs> Wait, look up. Go and start from Shake Up. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you talk. <coughs> um, you can't think of any of oh, our current ones. I thought you meant, like, in the list. So, okay, we're going to make a separate podcast episode for this because we're going to talk with Julie and the Phantoms, watch on Netflix. It's a great show. Um... It's about three ghost boys uh, playing music with a chick named Julie. With a chick? We're in, well, I'm in love with Charlie Gillespie, cause, not just because he's beautiful, but his personality is amazing. And also Owen Patrick Joyner. He's 6'4"? Oh, so, wait, he's so tall. Gunther! <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> See, he looks exactly <laughs> like the other guy. They look the same. <laughs> Like, um, the other guy looks like Sid from Toy Story. Oh, and Patrick Joyner loves personality, and he plays uh, in Julian the Phantom, same as Charlie Gillespie, very attractive. We also love Jeremy Shada, but he's married, so we can't sip over him that hard. We respect that. Yes, Jeremy, can we just, I can, I will sip over yeah. Jeremy for a moment. Okay. Because, although, yes, we respect his wife. She's also gorgeous, so... Um, his talent is indescribable. Whenever he sings, I melt a little. <laughs> <laughs> are you making a poem? <laughs> but him and his wife are so cute together. We watched that little live the other day where they talked about how they first started dating. At least I'm not in love with Gunther from Shake It Up. It's gonna be me. You're supposed to be reading about her... Did you read her thing? I read that she, yeah, Tinka from Shake It Up is a Trump. Real women. Both. Both Trump. We don't need no liberal Trump. Okay, uh, disclaimer, we don't 
support Trump. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be very honest with that. Not, we yeah. don't care about being non-partisan. Yeah, <laughs> that, because, like, when you look at me because I don't swear. She is not in the Lord's favor. I am the Lord's favor. What? She is a hoe. <laughs> Garden tool. <laughs> no, I am celibate. <laughs> I am, she's a monk. Um, yeah, she's a hoe. Wait, isn't Gunther the little penguins from Adventure Time? <laughs> we need to watch Adventure Time. That show is so weird. Um, I'm sorry, Jamie Shada. Does he even like that show? Oh, I don't know. That one video looked like he <laughs> did it. like an Adventure Time song, and everyone's like, whoa, and he's like, and me. <laughs> <laughs> but also, he's a child on it, so I get wanting to distance yourself. Mm-hmm. He might watch this podcast when we become friends with him. When? <laughs> yeah, when we when our TikTok blows up. He's not on TikTok, so when our Instagram blows up. <laughs> what were you talking about? Luther. No, I have something else to say. What were we talking about? Oh, Kaylee's a hoe. No! <laughs> she swears all the time. No, I don't. I'm not a hoe. I have one boyfriend. What do you mean? And how many girlfriends? <laughs> okay, well, I have zero girlfriends, but... Also, guys, give me some suggestions in the comments on what phone I should buy. I'm thinking about a Google Pixel 4a. Um, But if you could think of something better and cheap... Similar to that price range, like three fifty. Tell me what phone you have now. I have an iPhone SE. <laughs> that's like the iPhone five, a little bit after that. Is it the iPhone five? Well, it's like they made the iPhone five, and like they were big phones. They were like, let's remake the tiny phone. Oh, okay. The iPhone SE. So it's like. But still, she looks like an iPhone four. Yeah, that's the point of the iPhone S. The iPhone SE to look like the four, but to have the software of the five. Mm. So. so she is a new phone. We're recording yeah. it on the iPhone four. So what? <laughs> We're recording the podcast on the iPhone four. It's not the iPhone four. It's the iPhone four. It's the iPhone yes. SE. It's the iPhone four. <laughs> yeah. So people diss on it, and I ask, I also don't like it, but we're poor. That's another story about how we're both. <laughs> Kaylee! <laughs> what? I'm picking my nose. It'll be worth it when we get famous. When people come and slut into the podcast, like they came sledding to Owen Joyner. <laughs> After he got famous, they watched all his YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a million followers. I'm so proud of him. Can you hand me another tissue? Yeah, let's just talk about Owen Joyner for He's the rest funny. of the podcast. <laughs> For another half an hour. He's very funny and I love his some of his vlogs are hilarious because he's just the thing is we just want to be friends with them so bad. We really do because they're just funny people. So if they this is our address <laughs> seven <laughs> seven just seven ABC Road Hollywood no Bollywood Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> so we can talk about sriracha. Oh my god. Okay, Sacha, sriracha. Sacha. So yes, the the minor, the youngling. Yeah. The so we. Please. He's not our celebrity crush. Disclaimer. Yeah, That's he's not. Pedophilia. Um, <laughs> That's pedophilia. So it does end up in us slightly making fun of him, but it's all from a place of well, we like his character. Yeah, his character's great. Well, he's probably a great person. It's really funny at the end when he's like. <laughs> Does a little whip. Without giving any spoilers of what happens at the end of the show. Yeah, his name's Sacha. We call him Sriracha. Great. We're like, go, Sriracha, go. Go, Sriracha, go. <laughs> Watch the show, they go, Diego, go. Go, Sriracha, go. Get that girl. <laughs> she shouldn't date a ghost. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't blame her. Like, their chemistry. Very cute ghost. Losing chemistry, as Reggie well, would say. Well, as uh, Luke would say, he has chemistry with everybody. I could do that. You ready? Do you feel it? <laughs> no. It's so creepy. So he started making it out. <laughs> 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 he started making it out of the podcast. I am a child of the Lord. I feel like our things always have such a Jesus tone in it, but we're not discussing that in this episode. Let's save that for our Christmas special. <laughs> our relationship with God. Yeah. Be prepared. Christmas Bring special. some tissues. <laughs> Why? Are they going to be laughing you... or crying? Do they have a cold? <laughs> you might cry. Me? 
I'm yeah. like cry. You might cry. I cried this podcast so much. I can't go to We both cried the other day. We were crying. Same time. <laughs> we were. You should have came. To we were in different locations, cry. but we, we cried at crying. the same time. Yeah. Um, it's all Kaylee's fault. Wait, I, I stop it. Was it? I, Mindy, you said not to feel bad. <laughs> Mindy, is it really? I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. It's my fault. It's no one's fault, really. <laughs> Just both trauma. Mm-hmm. Why do you hate me? That reminds me of my other celebrity crush right mm-hmm. now. Me? Crank's gameplays. Hmm? Ethan. <laughs> he did another, he was on one of the videos and he said, he just went, I'm a bother. <laughs> yes, that's my type. Yeah. Dorks. But like losers. funny dorks. <laughs> Not like dork dorks, losers get out of the way, but like you're a funny dork. <laughs> that was the close one. Mindy <laughs> took a drink of water and she almost died. So oh, this podcast is gonna have to be thrown in the trash. What? This podcast is gonna be thrown in the trash. Why? They're gonna think we're under the influence. <laughs> we aren't though. We're we aren't. Stupid. I'm having a manic episode. <laughs> this is gonna be help next time. 42 minutes of crazy people laughing. Mm-hmm. What are, we have no topics to talk about. No, like what topic? Is that your favorite color? Like that, like a teal color. My favorite color is probably... Me. Did you see me? The color of <laughs> this blotchiness on my face. Rosacea? Mm-hmm. Her color is like m- many shades of blue. Hence my comforter being blue. <laughs> That's what... Okay, we can talk about that for a little bit. Currently, I am a double major in criminal justice and anthropology with a minor in human behavior. As you can see, that made Kaylee fall asleep. <laughs> um, I can't see what's the name. <laughs> as you can listen to, Me she's asleep. <laughs> um, what we should do is make a wel- Welcome to Night Vale podcast, just one episode of it. Welcome to what? Night Vale, remember that podcast I listened to? Night Vale? Yeah, well, basically, it's like you make it like a fictional... Oh, we'll have to... I'll show you an example. Okay. But I think it'd be a Halloween special. Yeah. A fictional podcast. I'll have sure. to post this one soon and then post that... Record that one soon and post it. Yeah, maybe we try to do one a week. Because. Anyways, anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, my major. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm planning on... We are both currently juniors in college, mm-hmm. which means next year we both have to apply to grad schools and we're both going to die... I'm not going to die. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm doing forensic anthropology. Um, I did choose the hardest forensic science type thing to get into because it's not forensic chemistry or forensic biology. But I'm quirky and unique like that, um, and I like Bones. She actually just wants to be Dr. Brennan from Bones, the show. Actually, I want to be Dr. Kathy Rikes. You want to be Davey? <laughs> Daisy, um, <laughs> your turn. Um, I am studying forensic chemistry. Can and you imagine? <laughs> God. Well, 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 forensic, I could change it to forensic psychology. You could, but could you just imagine, like, yeah, I'm doing forensic chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be hard, because I hate chemistry. Where I'm doing, for, uh, I almost said forensics again, <laughs> uh, psycho- a major in psychology, and uh, I'm at three minors in communicative sciences and disorders, cognitive science, and youth and society. And co- the co- uh, communication sciences and disorders is what I plan doing, uh, speech language pathology. That's what that really translates to. So basically, I don't know if you've got this I from our... Me. One sec, it's just a quick moment. <laughs> I don't know if you have learned this from our current podcast me or the audience the audience <laughs> okay um by the way we act we're both pretty smart <laughs> surprisingly we have goals in life okay you can continue oh disclaimer we're not actual idiots in real life well i guess i don't know anyways uh yeah um and i plan on going to grad school somewhere Maybe I was considering also I was talking to my dad about this considering would you swallow that water? Swallow it? You, you remind me of my dog. Swallow it? Except I'm actually some spit out. Oh, I was considering going getting another masters in psychology to be like a what marriage if we, counselor. Um go both in Boston. 
Why do I go to Boston? Do they have a school there? I'm sure they have some kind of They school. do. A girl of last year went to Boston. From my, from the cohort. Go where we go now. Because they said they don't recommend you do that. Why? Well, the other, what about Central? I don't think they have anything. It's very, like I said, it's very specific. They probably can't even hear what we're well, talking about. No, they probably can, but um, I'd have to like visit Boston. In the summer? We could visit together, but we'd have to like make sure we visit our like or specific programs. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Yeah. Making plans as we speak. Yeah, making plans. I am going to apply to our current school too. What if you get in? But I just went, I went to a program my senior, but before my senior year, the summer before my senior year, called, I shouldn't say the name, that, I don't know, I don't, will that give away to school? Okay, so <laughs> I won't, because you could probably look up the event and probably find it. It's not like we go to a small school. <laughs> um, yeah, I went to this event for like, soon to be um high school seniors to come look at the college and like get a tour and go talk to your program directors and all that so when i went and talked to the program director for forensic anthropology um well it was actually just a director of social science but whatever don't fall asleep i'm listening they were like yeah our best thing is we recommend that since forensic anthropology you have to get your doctorate that you go to a different school for your master's program and then come back for your doctorate so you don't learn the same ideas. What if I, I could come back to be for my doctorate. Yeah. Because I, I've considered, oh, I've considered a couple options in my life. Being, you just said a school name. What? You just said a school okay, name. Okay, well, you have to edit this anyways. I'm going to continue. <laughs> um, I've considered getting a master's in psychology online so I can be a counselor because I'm the therapy friend and I thought maybe I should get paid for this because I do it for free all the time anyways. Swallow the water before you spit it on my bed, little lady. I swear. <laughs> You're a child. Anyways. So I consider getting two masters, speech language pathology and psychology, or getting a doctorate in speech language pathology and maybe becoming a professor someday. That'd be fun. I feel like. I'm never gonna speak again. <clears throat> well, we're a, I'm a podcast, so you're gonna have to. Um. So yeah, our lives are really boring. Wait, no, they aren't. I think that's the issue. What, where's the time on it? <laughs> As we sit silent. <laughs> yeah, I think it's so funny because you, if you see us hanging out together, you wouldn't think, oh, those girls have goals in life. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, we're got such rackhead energy, as they say, <laughs> quirky girls. Um, that you'd be like, yeah, they're just in college to goof around and, like, vibe, you know? Yeah, smoke weed. Oh, we don't smoke weed. <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> um, but we yeah, we just go to class, come home, hang out with each other, play D and D. That little last year we don't do any of that this year. Maybe I can learn to edit. Yeah, I really just need a capture. Well, it's easy videos. to edit out the silent part. Yeah, that's what you need to do. That should be. I edit all the videos. Well, yeah, I. I and all they ask is for you to close caption them. We can. We know we could do this during our time at work. Oh, yeah. You gotta close capture the podcast too. Yeah, I can. That would be lovely. We're just trying to make it very inclusive. I said I almost said exclusion, <laughs> but inclusive. Yeah, but I think with what YouTube, if we record this whole thing and they can't hear us because where we're laying? Well, I am pretty sure they can hear us because in the last podcast I was laying down before and they could hear you are getting very close to me. <laughs> Mindy is the one about personal boundaries, but she is. That's my ear. What's your ear? What? What's your ear? What's my ear? <laughs> also, if you guys have a cat, give it to us. Give it to us. Actually, you be cat. Oh, I bleeped that out. Their cat. Um, oh. they might have to get rid of. So name Banks. No, his name's Forrest, and it's a cat. So you don't have to bleep that out. <laughs> we want to get a cat and name it. Thackeray Banks. Yes, we want to get a cat and name it Thackeray Banks. Shout out to you if you know what that reference was. If you don't know what that reference was, you are uncultured heathen. Well, I didn't know that this year. That's because you're an uncultured heathen. <laughs> <laughs> you can just calm down. I have enough issues with my cultural identity. You don't need to add to that. I'm also, if you couldn't tell from the picture, I'm Asian. <laughs> um, no, actually, I'm the Asian one. <laughs> yeah? 
<laughs> yeah, you're the tall one. I'm the, wait, you can be Indian and tall, you know? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're the white one. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, just for future reference, Kaylee is the white one. Mindy is no, the Asian no, one. No, you're going to confuse everybody. Yeah, for future reference. Um. Whenever you meet us, because we're going to go to VidCon 2024. <laughs> Booth? Yeah, 2024. Oh my gosh, could you imagine going to VidCon and being famous or meeting people? <laughs> what if you guys get married? Oh, uh, no, what if he marries me because I'm the Korean woman? <laughs> you're not Korean, <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> you're not <laughs> Korean, you know that. We actually don't know my blood. <laughs> Somebody from Korea dropped you off in China. You never know. <laughs> I'm just saying things happen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the two people we want to be friends with right now, well, Ethan and uh, Markiplier's mom. <laughs> Not Mommy Markiplier. Plier. <laughs> Not Markiplier. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Mommy Plier, as <laughs> she said. <laughs> yeah, I want to be, I want her to be my Asian grandma. I never have. Just get adopted by Marky Plier. Mm-hmm. Like Ethan did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honest, tried and true, actual crush on this man that yeah. I have. Not just a celebrity crush. Like it's an actual crush? An actual crush. Why when do you fall in love with people that are very unattainable at the moment? <laughs> an issue I have. Oh, did you even look at Tinder? How did I, I did! Oh, this one. The text message, we broke up, basically. What do you mean you broke we up? We basically broke up. <laughs> How do you guys break up before you were even the thing in the first place? Let me tell you, we broke up. It was a very amicable breakup, but we What's broke up. Mean? I can't be friends with someone who's uneducated. <laughs> At least I'm not going for Trump, okay? Oh, oh no. A bully. What? You'd be matched with me so that I can't see the messages anymore. Tell me what happened. I'll summarize. At this point, I can see that we're not getting a connection or like vibing or something like that. Kind of, but also I think it's just I'm not good at Tinder. And then she's like, so then I hope you happen to run into somebody one day that you'll find a connection with. And I was like, to me in real life. <laughs> yeah. Well, can I see your Tinder right now? No. We Why can't not? have a, Every episode cannot be about <laughs> my Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, can I do it after the episode? Maybe. Okay. Well, we'll be done with the episode. Because how long? You know, who, you know who I didn't discuss? Who? Laura Bailey. Oh, I can't believe you skipped right over it. I, I, it was on my phone and I was like, oh my God. Laura Bailey. Again, married woman with yeah. a child. Yes, Laura Bailey from Critical Role. Gorgeous goddess. Musically gifted. Plays Dungeons and Dragons. What else are you looking for in a woman? Uh, financially stable. <laughs> she's rich. I don't know that she's rich. Do they have money? <laughs> she's financially stable, probably. That's rich to me. <laughs> but, Ethan, I would give it all up for him. Everything me? You would give Everything. me up for him? Yes. I would move to Los Angeles right now if that is, and he would go on a date with me. Are you serious? No, you are. I'm kind of serious. If he said, let's go on a date, I'd be buying a plane ticket. Are you, well, would you move there? That's how the date goes. Oh, okay. I thought you were just going to move there and then go on the date. <laughs> That's the commitment he made to Mark. <laughs> well, it's also Ethan. I, it's, I got it bad. I want you to, to want, want me. The way she's saying that was really sad in the show. <laughs> and lately, I I regretted telling um Kaylee of my massive crush on Ethan Prank Gameplays. Hmm? Because she's posting things on Facebook about oh, my life. It was one thing. Anybody could have seen that. She tagged one me in it. Thing. And I said, I'm not that kind of person on Facebook. Okay, They well, don't know that I watch gaming YouTubers. But it, was it, I talking about the GIF? Yes. Without any context, you just tagged me in it. Well, you know what? I thought it was funny. You just find a GIF on there? Like, you had to do that on purpose. You didn't just run across that GIF. No, I did run, just run across it. I'm serious. I looked up an Ethan GIF just to share it with you. That's not even of Ethan. <laughs> exactly. It could be of Ethan. It could be. And I want you to want me. And I need you to need me. I hate dry lips. You guys know remedy for chronic dry lips? Let me know. I got bad. Mindy's in love. I have crusty lips. It's <laughs> probably in the video. I hope you saved that. Wait, I can't find it. You're the mean one in the podcast. <laughs> you're, you, the- you're the one that sounded mean in the last one. No, you sound mean. <laughs>
Which is insane. <laughs> Take me to the straight jackets. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for listening, she's guys. Attention. Attention. What? I'll say she's just as erratic as me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think I'm more erratic. Well, you're in a manic episode, but other than that. Never heard of her. Okay, well, thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> See you next time. Tell your friends. Bye.